another edition of Lasing is Amazing by Dr. Glenn Van Ass. Today we're going to talk about closed flap laser crown lengthening. This is a premolar PFM crown that needs to be replaced because of recurrent decay. With these crowns you need to cut through them. You can see at high magnification here the initial pre-op view. We cut through with a diamond burr first and then a carbide burr and we can then get the crown off. Once off, you can see it's kind of uh, disturbing to see the amount of restoration, and suddenly you're faced with this crown. At low mag, you can see the uh, rubber dam has been split, and then at high mag, you can see floss on the distal of the adjacent premolar, and the margins are very difficult to see. You can see the palatal margin is extremely difficult to see and visualize. Removed all the amalgam, and there was a pulp exposure on the, on the buckle. Two pins that you can see there. The pulp exposure was... Um, coagulate with a diode laser at one watt continuous wave. You see a high mag view here of the small pulp exposure just at the end of the uh, process and you stop bleeding. Troughed again at 1.4 watts pulsed and here we've completed the trough, sandblasted the prep and we're going to now do a core buildup. The core buildup is complete and we have to refine the margin because there's resin on the margins and we then um, are refining the margins and notice that the palatal it's very difficult to see the margins itself so we use the erbium laser at 30 hertz 40 hertz and 50 millijoules 2 watts and then completed the preparation you can see it here at low magnification at high mag you can see the only crown length was done on the palatal and at real high magnification you can see the small pin and how clearly definable the, the uh, margins are. Provisionals were placed and the provisional restoration was placed with a, an attempt to push the tissue back a little bit, particularly on the palatal. The impressions were taken, the patient was reappointed for four weeks. Here's the PFM crown on the die. You can see the occlusal view of it. And here's provisional in place. When we focus on the palatal tissue, as you'll see in the next shot, you can see the tissue is pink and healthy and appears to be healing. Once we remove the provisional, you can see that the tissue is indeed healing very nicely and that we have created a nice um, healing environment for the tissue and the margin is clearly discernible at this point. Gold margin, lingual collar uh, on the PFM. And when we place this in, you can see the occlusal view. And then the last uh, couple of views are of the palatal. And you can see how healthy and pink the tissue is. This is immediately on the day of insertion. And here's a high mag view, again showing a, a nice healing occurring. Hope this has been interesting. Dr. Glenn Van Ass saying goodbye. Until next time.